This is Daniel Tal from Placemaker. I've loaded up a model of Denver, Colorado using the Placemaker tool. And we're going to go over the Tour Tool menu option in Placemaker. I'm going to go to my Extensions, Placemaker, and I'm going to select Placemaker Tour as the option. This is going to open up a separate window, which is actually showing you the Google Street Views. And I'm going to now place myself in the model here, in the SketchUp model. And it's going to show me the street view for that location from the placemaker loaded model in here. So I'm going to adjust the screen a little bit here. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to click on load SketchUp view here in a second. And my SketchUp model automatically updates and matches into the street view that you're seeing in the placemaker tour. Even better, I can now orbit around or move pan around in the placemaker tour window and you can see that the SketchUp model is moving in response relative to its location. This allows you to see your model, your SketchUp model, obviously relative to the street views here. And you can move it around, shake it around, do whatever you need to here to make it work. If you move or pan in the SketchUp model to a different location, that will not update the tour window in the same way. What we're going to do here is reposition ourselves in a different location. We're going to click on the load SketchUp view again. Both models get synced up together. I'm going to do that again to show you. It's going to automatically sync you back in once you click load SketchUp view. And this is a great way to adjust buildings, building massings, update the models, obviously look at things relative to existing conditions and what they work. You can adjust the tour window, as I was doing there. And there is a maximum window size, as you can see how I have it set up. This works great with two monitors. So you have the placemaker tour window on the second monitor. It doesn't work well for a tutorial, so I didn't show that. But I use two monitors and that way you can move relatively seamlessly between the two. I'm going to reposition myself here. I'm in front of Coors Field in Denver. Load the SketchUp view. You can see Coors Field and again you can pan around the model and move around. It's a very simple easy feature to use and it's also free. It's a free part of Placemaker so if you download the Placemaker trial you can use this unlimitedly if you'd like to go see your own locations as long as you're using a geo-located map. So if you're using the SketchUp location tool for your aerials, this tool, this tool will work with those particular uh, tools as well. And obviously it works great with Placemaker since you can see all the buildings, the vegetation, and all the context relative. That's the Excel building in Denver. But you can see all the information relative to SketchUp, um, relative to your location. So this is the placemaker tour, the placemaker tour feature and working with your SketchUp model and syncing up your Google Street Views.